Thanks for watching 2 News. I'm Chief Meteorologist Dan Threlkeld. Here's a time lapse of one of our many cameras. This one in Jinx. And you can see the afternoon cumulus clouds did not produce any rainfall across northeast Oklahoma. However, there were some isolated showers, even a few thunderstorms in the extreme southeastern part of the state. Now, what's going to happen overnight is this complex of thunderstorms which uh, at uh, 9 p.m. was still located northwest of Kansas City, will continue to slowly drift to the east, southeast. And if that can hold together by daybreak, that would clip extreme northeastern Oklahoma. A lot of this will weaken and fall apart, but still, it is a complex that certainly has to be watched. They even issued a severe thunderstorm watch uh, for the evening hours across parts of eastern Kansas. Down to our south, these scattered showers are moving away from us. A big story today was the heat, and it was a hot one. Paula Roscoe snapped this image at the Citizen Security Bank. Then they were reporting 106 degrees. Now, these things are rarely calculated, but uh, calibrated, I should say, but you can still see that very hot temperature. But it was hot. The temperature in Tulsa made 104 degrees. That's in the shade. Temperature in Bristow at 104 and 103 coming in from Muskogee. So, a very, very tough day, and we still desperately need that rainfall for the year. We are still running of a deficit of nearly eight inches of rainfall. So a good soaking rain is exactly what we need, running 7.8 inches below normal. All right, that complex across Kansas will continue to slowly move in our direction. There is a weak boundary draped across parts of our area that's kind of falling apart. A weak area of low pressure at the surface. In the upper level, on the visible, there's a little piece of energy that's coming at us from the west. So all these will interact with the moisture, and that means a chance for some isolated showers on Wednesday. Not everyone gets wet, but a few storms are certainly going to be possible, especially during the heating of the afternoon. The boundary itself drapes a little bit further to the south during Wednesday evening, and with that, at it once again. Thunderstorms across parts of Kansas. Some of those will clip extreme northeastern Oklahoma. Our best chance of rain still looks to be on Thursday. Then, not everyone gets wet once again, but there will be some isolated storms around. And the cloud cover with the front will mean our temperatures will be a couple of degrees cooler. Overnight for tonight, mostly in the 70s. And tomorrow morning, Julie Chen will give you the latest on the rain chances across southeastern parts of Kansas for the morning start. The afternoon will be hot 100 with an ozone alert in effect for our area. We'll see low 100s, and the winds will be from the southeast at 10 miles per hour. Rain chances at 20% on Wednesday, but a 30% chance of rain on Thursday, decreasing chances on Friday. After that, temperatures once again in the low 100s, morning temperatures in the low 70s. Don't forget to check out our website. It's at kjrh.com.